Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. We got 2021 Bowman Sterling Baseball coming at you. Six box, half case, pick your team, number four, from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember, I think Sean must have done break three, I think. So here are the boxes right here with four marked here, so we know they're all from the same case. Six boxes, right? Three boxes there, three boxes there. Big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. Now, remember, we had that filler that filled up the Bowman and the Optic, right? And one person was gonna win the 24 teams that were remaining there, which is over $1,700 value. And that winner, and the randomizer is in a different video, but that winner was Brian Crouch. So congrats to him. And thanks to Carlos for getting that last spot mojo. There are a few people who got bought some spots here. Travis, Steven, John, thanks to you. Thanks to Pat, thanks to Darren, and good luck to everybody, really. And congrats again to Brian, it's pretty awesome. All right, so let's start digging into what we can get out of this 2021 Bowman Sterling Baseball. A lot of mini boxes in here. This actually would be a much shorter break if it wasn't for the five mini boxes that we have to pop open. That's all right. There's a lot of uh, a lot of good prospect hunting in here. So good luck, everybody. Astros in the ALDS game one beat the White Sox six to one. I thought the White Sox would. Uh, would put up a little bit of a bigger fight, but but no, just that day just didn't go go well for them. Yeah, we might be hearing Brian's name a lot, Rex. That's true. We got the autographs in the middle, right? So the bottom two cards are just going to be. We're going to slide right to the top. And Lance Lynn was a little sloppy today, too. All right. Chris Butler. Didn't I get the Yankees and Twins? Yes, you did in optic number five. So if you look at the if you look at the video, the top name gets the twenty four teams in Sterling, and the rest are in optic number five. So I've got you lined up for uh, for Yankees and Twins in Donruss Optic Baseball number five, which is coming up after this. All right, there's Brady Singer to 99. And we've got Alexander Vargas for the Yankees. That's going to be for Brian. And of course, all card ship. And we've got a redemption behind C.J. Abrams. The redemption, you are due to receive a prospect autograph card of Los, Los Angeles, Angels, Dodgers. It's Bobby Miller for the Dodgers. Nice. He's supposed to be one of the bigger uh, pitching prospect names in the Dodger organization. And I'll be for Brian. Most of these are going to be for Brian. The Brady Singer goes to John Beck. And all cards will ship. There's William Contreras, 41 out of 75. And Jose Rodriguez, White Sox. Brian. William Contreras will go to Brian as well and the Braves. We got a Tanner Hawks, Speckle, 97 out of 99, which reveals a Garrett Mitchell, 62 out of 150 for the Brew Crew. 
both Brewers and Red Sox are going to be for Brian Crouch. Big win for him in that filler. Got 24 teams in this break. And behind Bobby Witt Jr. is Kobe Mayo. Carlos, last spot mojo with the Orioles. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Thanks for getting your team straight up. All right, next box. So after this will be another baseball break. And if you take a look at the schedule, it says, uh, it says what break I'm down to do after the next two. Otherwise, we're going to call it a night. And we should be able to fill that origins break. So go get it, draftiescasebreaks.com. is pretty good, isn't he? Who does everyone have in that White Sox Astros series? White Sox at Astros. Astros drawing first blood. Won 6 1 today. I actually was on, I had like a little parlay going. I was on the uh, Astros and Red Sox to win. Red Sox did not win, but the Astros did win. But I have a little uh, series bet kind of not good at futures plays, so this is it's just for funsies for me, but I'm on the White Sox to win the uh, to win the series. If they're starting pitching, if that all clicks, here's a uh, Heriberto Hernandez for the Rays, Brian. If they uh, if they clicks, you know, then then they can win. They can win that series and more. There's Cade Cavalli for Washington. Darren McKenzie with the Nats. And we got Antonio Gomez, Yankees. It's going to be for Brian. There's Austin Hendrick, two out of 50. And behind him is a Jose Salas for Brian and the Marlins. We got Christian Pache, two out of 50. And Tyler Soderstrom, Oakland A's. <laughs> yeah. And I'm rooting for Andrew Vaughn. Did he make the playoff roster? I'm sure he did. He definitely did. There's Tyler Soderstrom for the A's, Brian Crouch. All right, Sean Jaspi is, uh, is, has taken a, a, a big position, as they say, I think, in the finance world. He's taken a big position on uh, Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. I mean, there's a lot of youngsters on that White Sox team. I mean... You know, there's a guy right in the box right there. A lot of a lot of youngsters on that White Sox team that can make a name for themselves in the uh, in the playoffs. And they've got veteran hitting around that team too. Tim Anderson, Jose Abreu. I want to say Lance McCullers matched up really well against the. I think he always seems to have the White Sox number, so maybe 
maybe that was that was inevitable. But these five game series can get weird. Momentum can turn pretty quickly. Yeah, Tim Anderson went one for one for four. Mankata went one for th three. Abreu went two for four. Grandal went zero oh for. Luis Robert went two for three. Eloy Jimenez was there, one for four. Gavin Sheets and Angle went zero oh for eight. The bottom of that order. That bottom of that order didn't get too much production at all. They just couldn't score runs. They got they got people on. They just couldn't score runs. And Lance Lynn just wasn't sharp. Yeah, I think Andrew Vaughn is on the is officially on the playoff the the DS division series roster. Yeah, McCullers went six strong, scattered four hits. Didn't give up any earned runs. He was really sharp. Michael Brantley looked good. Had a couple RBIs. Jordan Alvarez had a couple RBIs. And then Bregman with an RBI. Myers with an RBI. And there you go. There's your six runs right there. Just like that. But... I think the, hopefully the White Sox can make a series of it, make it interesting. There's Ronnie Maurizio, 23 out of 25 for the Mets, and Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. All of these are going to be for Brian Crouch, who won 80%. I think 24 of 30 is 80%. Won 24 of the 30 teams here in this break. So a lot of these are going to go for him. Congrats again, Brian. But Orioles, Tigers, Astros, Royals... Rangers and Nationals. Those are the teams that other, other people bought straight up. So good luck to everybody. 64 out of 199, Brady Singer and a Ranger. That's for Pat Wolf. Got the Rangers straight up and gets the Anderson Tejada Speckle autograph, 38 out of 99. We got Nick Madrigal, former White Sox, 199, and Nick Bitsko for the Tampa Bay Rays. Brian. Wow, there's that stolen. That's that. There's that steal of home by Arozarena. What a gutsy move. Got under the throw. Yoelki Cespedes, 77 out of 99. That's Yoenis' half-brother. Goes to Brian Crouch in the White Sox. There's Yerman Mercedes and Kevin Alcantara, one of the bigger, uh, bigger names in the Yankees system. Brian Crouch. All right, we're halfway through this half case break. Got about another uh, 10, 15 minutes to go on this one. And we've got another baseball break coming up. Well, speaking of the Rays, Rays shut out the Red Sox in game one, 5-0. I don't know, was this the... Uh, Let's see. Let's see what the Red Sox can do. I, I, I have the Rays. They are the favorites to win. So the White Sox are slight underdogs to win the series. I think it was like plus one sixteen or something like that. And I think the Rays are definitely 
heavier favorites to win the series. I think they were like minus 160 or something to win the series. Which if you do the math is is uh, it's a considerable favorite to win the whole thing. So it looked like a it looked like a bit of a I think Adam St. Ange in the chat was saying earlier, man, his Red Sox looked a little tired. And I think that might be true. After kind of an emotional win, a big win, and an emotional, I don't think it was really close, but it was an emotional win for the Red Sox. Maybe there was a little bit of a letdown spot there. And they're traveling down to Tampa Bay after that. So maybe it was a classic letdown spot, but they just they were just really sluggish from the get-go. I mean, the only guys that were really doing work, Kyle Schwarber, Xander Bogarts, both went two for four. Devers, Renfro, and Verdugo each had a hit. I think they, some of them, but they weren't really together. You know, they weren't really around the same time. It was just kind of scattered all over the nine innings. Tyler needs that Yoelki Cespedes kid to be a monster. He pulled his Bowman first true red auto. Nice. Well, if he's half as good as Yoenis and can stay healthier longer, <laughs> I mean, he's in for a pretty solid career. All right, we got a Cole Henry wave autograph, 20 out of 125. National, Darren McKenzie, DMAC. And we've got Alexander Ramirez for the Halos. That's going to go to Brian. There's Micah Bell, 21 out of 150. For the fighting Phils, Brian Crouch with the Phillies. There's Shane McClanahan to 199. He made the start tonight. Went five innings, scattered five hits, three strikeouts, no earned runs, no walks. Here's another Cole Henry for Darren and the Nationals. Shane McClanahan won that game too. And back here we've got Jared Schuster, 37 out of 125. That wave pattern looks really sharp. Brian Crouch with the Braves, good looking card. Clear this break away a little bit. All right, two boxes to go. The big story was, I mean, man, I guess those Randy Arozarena rookie cards from last year, I think, I mean, he really made a name for himself last year in the, uh, in the playoffs. And he looked, I mean, he looked pretty amazing. And he had a great, he's probably, and he still had his rookie eligibility. So I think his rookie cards were last year, 2020 product, if I'm not mistaken. But he still has rookie eligibility for this season. So he's probably going to win AL Rookie of the Year. And he's on the national stage now. He's on nationally broadcasted games in the playoffs. So if he keeps doing what he's doing, Rex was saying earlier that this was the first time in playoff history that someone has hit a home run in a game and stole home. Which I guess, regular, and I, then I mentioned, I think in the regular season, that can't happen too often in general. But to do it, so to do it in the playoffs is, uh, is pretty amazing. So his legend is growing. He went, he went one for two, two walks, an RBI, scored three runs. And I, I can hear like his cards increasing in value right now as we speak. So Randy Otters Arena. Now I think Cardinals fans don't like to hear that name 
because because I think the Cardinals had traded Arozarena to the Rays um, for Matt Libertor, I think, who's supposed to be a really good pitcher. I think he is. I don't know if he's been pitching in the big leagues, but, but he's supposed to be really incredible, but sort of difficult to see Arozarena in the playoffs doing his thing. Yeah, first time in the playoffs. Well, I'm wondering, Rex, how often has it happened ever? That's what I want to know. The, speaking of the Rays, there's Luis Patino. I wish there was a way to look that up. Again, that's for the Rays, Brian. And there is Robert Hassel, one of the uh, Padres' big first round picks recently. Brian with the Friars. And we've got a nice Bowman Chrome Jose Altuve autograph. And that's sort of an older school design. Astros, Stephen Watson with the Strohs. 18 out of 50. Sterling Recollections autograph card. That's pretty cool. Nice. And we got Casey Martin, Philadelphia Phillies, Brian Crouch. Yeah, Joey, Strohs looking good. They got a good team. Brian Crouch with the Phillies with the KC Martin. And we have another Philly. That's Johan Rojas for the Fighting Phils. All right, final box coming up. Got some AL games coming up tomorrow. NL games, that is, coming up tomorrow. Braves are in Milwaukee. This is the product, Joey. Braves are in Milwaukee. Who does, who does everyone have there? I think the Braves are slight underdogs in this series. I think their series price was, was plus 124. I'm on the, uh, I'm actually on the underdogs here. I think the Braves are gonna pull this off. <laughs> Apologies to my friends in the, uh, in the Milwaukee area. Next, uh, RTR in the house with a Bobby Wood Jr. update. The minor league player of the year, Bobby Wood Jr., missed his 30-30-30 year because a game got rained out. Is that third? What, what was the 30-30-30 again? Is it 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases, 30 doubles? It's pretty good in a minor league season. That's going to be a big name to be looking for and chasing next year. Apologies to the Royals fans out there. The Royals pick your team prices. With Bobby Wood Jr. I think will officially be a rookie next year. Because I think he's expected... Real time, is he expected to... To, uh, to be on the big club next year? There's Reed Detmers for the Halos. That'll be for Brian. Not this upcoming season or the season after that, are you saying? 2022? 9 out of 75, Nick York. Boston Red Sox, Brian. Joey saying, yo, bro, I wouldn't trade Wander Franco for Mookie Betts, Chris Taylor, Walker, Bueller, Urias, and Max Scherzer. Okay. 
So noted. Drew Romo, 61 out of 75. Yeah, Wander Franco's pretty good. But I would probably trade Wander Franco for those guys. I think the Rays would too. Drew Romo going to the Rocks for Brian. This Francisco Alvarez is 75. And Nick Lofton for the Royals. John Beck. Yeah, okay, so Bobby Witt Jr. and others for 2022. Right, so he should be a rookie. I mean, I'm sure they probably, if they want to fiddle with the service time stuff, unless that gets solved in the collective bargain agreement at the end of the year. Maybe if they goof around with the service time stuff. Um, then maybe he'll, it'll be a little bit later than that. But I think for the most part, Juan Franco should be a big name to chase next year. Or uh, Bobby Wood Jr. should be a big name to chase here. Juan Franco is already a big name. Beyond Hunter Green, the last auto here is Gabriel Arias, Cleveland Indians. The Guardians next year. That'll be for Brian and the Tribe. There you go. Congrats to Brian. Thanks, everybody else, for getting in. Brian won all those teams in that big filler. Thanks, everybody, who got spots in this break as well, straight up. All card chips and pretty nice stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Next up. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.